there's one guy who's really smart and made a lot of people a lot of money who thinks they're not going to get approved and almost everyone else in the crypto community who thinks the ETH ETF will be approved tomorrow, this week, this month, sometime really soon, and everything is going to skyrocket 10x, 100x, everything we've been waiting for. Let's jump in. I'm going to show you a couple of things. First of all, we're looking at the price of Bitcoin. This is over the year chart. We talked about this yesterday. This thing's just gone pretty damn crazy from 27k up to $69,500. Where on this graph was the Bitcoin ETF approval? If you know your stuff, it was right in here just before this little surge up. Uh, it pulled back a little bit on the news, which is funny because they had that shambles where the SEC uh, Twitter actually got hacked upon tweeting out the news. Uh, and then it absolutely skyrocketed up to the all time high of 74,000 US dollars. Massive things happen when the Bitcoin ETF got approved. They hold 4.21% of the current Bitcoin supply. You can only imagine, as Lark Davis says, what's going to happen if the Ethereum ETF is also approved. Lark says that US Bitcoin ETFs took Bitcoin from 46K to 73K in just 64 days. Things seem a lot smoother when you zoom out a little bit. Imagine the price action of ETH if Ethereum ETFs are approved. And I did the math for you. If Ethereum's price was to experience the same percentage growth as Bitcoin over those 63 days, it would increase from 37.50 right now up to $6,000. And you have some pretty big industries. This is the $725 billion asset manager, Bernstein, says that ETH will reach $6,600 after this spot Ethereum ETF is approved. And this is all cool, but is it going to actually be approved and when? Well, Watchaguru tweeted, the SEC informs exchanges that is leaning towards approving spot Ethereum ETFs as per Barron's news. And our good friend Elio tweeted, it's official. Ethereum is getting an ETF and politicians are racing to bend the knee to crypto. You have absolutely no idea how silly this is gonna get. It's 100x game time through the elections. Now is the time to earn your freedom. And what's interesting here is there was a reply from Scorch.eth. He said, you told me two days ago that the government hated crypto, talking about the US government. And Ilya replied, two days ago, they did. What it looks like it's shaking out to be is coming into the US election, all candidates are now embracing crypto in order to get more votes. Now, why do we really care about this Ethereum ETF? Well, apart from getting that 100% return if Ethereum does pump to something like $6,600, this is our crypto whip and we talk about it often. Up at the handle of the crypto whip is the least volatility, the highest market cap. Bitcoin is over a trillion dollars in market cap. Ethereum's in the hundreds of billions of dollars. And as you go down the line, something like Casper might be at about 10, 15 billion. You keep going, something like Rollbit's only at 250 million. Uh, and then all the way down here, something like Playable Games or even Exceed Me might be at about a $5 million market cap. And when the liquidity enters the top of the market, such as those Bitcoin ETF inflows or the Ethereum inflows, it gives life to everything below it. And that's where we can get our 20Xs to 100X gains. Of which, if you don't know, we actually got $50,000 out of the bank recently. It was a struggle to do so. Funny, you can't even get $50,000 cash out of a branch in the bank. It took two days, but that's a side point. We're putting that into one token that we think can 100X our money and take us to $5 million over the next couple of weeks. So... We're gonna show it here on the channel, so make sure you subscribe. We're also doing deeper dives into all the tokens that we're considering inside the Inner Circle. The link is in the description below. We've already done three episodes in there, so go and catch up and make sure that you can see which tokens we think are going to be the best based on what these influencers are telling us. And also what you're submitting to us. We're reviewing everyone's submissions. For your chance to win $1,000 of the token that we invest into, use the form below, submit your token. And remember, if this thing does 100X, that $1,000 will be $100,000. So there's very little harm in going and submitting all the tokens that you think have the chance to 100X because we might just choose yours. Now, back to the ETH ETF, because this is what I was reading Twitter recently because I thought the ETH ETF wasn't going to be approved because of one man who we follow, Michael Saylor. He's been a really strong advocate against the Ethereum ETF, against the Solana, Cardano, Avalanche, all the layer ones that he thinks are more of a security than a commodity because of their centralized structure. Like Ethereum has Vitalik and the, I forget the Ethereum foundation at the head of it who actually runs it, which means it can't really be a commodity, at least according to Michael. And this is where things get a little bit tricky. I'm actually very curious to see how this plays out. This is Francis. He says, Michael Saylor repeatedly stated that an ETH ETF will never pass. Is he right or wrong? This is exactly what Michael Saylor says here. 
When Ethereum is not going to be approved, sometime this summer it'll be very clear to everyone that Ethereum is deemed a crypto asset security, not a commodity. After that, you're going to see that Ethereum, BNB, Solana, Ripple, Cardano, everything down the stack is just a crypto asset security unregistered. None of them will ever be wrapped by a spot ETF. None of them will be accepted by Wall Street. None of them will be accepted by mainstream institutional investors as crypto assets. And this garnered some interesting responses. Like Ethereum Vibin says, Michael Saylor said that ETH will be deemed a security this summer and will never be accepted by Wall Street. It's his latest campaign to destroy every other crypto asset and put us in a Bitcoin only world. He thinks the Ethereum ETF has no shot in hell. This is the classic, there is no second best. But Ethereum says, can someone remind him BlackRock has already tokenized nearly $400 million on Ethereum? Bet on Larry Fink, not Midcurve Michael. And even Altcoin Daily with 1.6 million Twitter followers, I think they've got over a million on YouTube as well, tweeted, looks like Michael Saylor was wrong about Ethereum being an unregistered security that wouldn't get a spot ETF. That's why it's always important to make your own decisions and think for yourself. Now, what do I personally think? Honestly, I don't know. I really like Michael Saylor. I really like the way he thinks. If I had to bet on this, I would probably say he might be wrong in this situation just because the election seemed to be swinging a lot of opinions inside of the US government. But if I'm totally honest, I'm just really curious and excited to see how this plays out. And I do wanna see Michael Saylor's response if the Ethereum ETF gets approved. So we're in some exciting times together, guys. Thanks for watching. Lots of videos coming out over the next couple of weeks, so make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one.